Hey everyone and welcome to Biology Professor today. We're going to have a quick video today. Um, before we jump into it, make sure that you hit subscribe to get free biology study videos. And also check out the link in the description box below. That is where you can get a, a link to a folder that has all of my free study notes, um, including pictures of the final board. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, this is going to be a fast one. Today's lesson is on axenic or asenic cultures. Um, depending on who your teacher is, you might hear it pronounced both ways. Um, axenic, azenic, something like that. So I'm going to say axenic. Axenic cultures in microbiology. What is an axenic culture? It is a culture that contains only one species or sometimes even only one strain of a particular microorganism. Um, many times we just call this a pure culture. Uh, and that's the one that I would most often say before axonite is pure. It means that there are no contaminants present. And it's often made with help of a quadrant streak. So a quadrant streak, um, something like this. I have a full video on how to make a quadrant streak. Uh, and why it's useful, so check that out if you are interested in that. And axonic cultures, they also facilitate study of, of whatever the microbe is. So for example, if you are familiar with Cook's postulates, um, I do have a video on Cook's postulates if you want to know what that is, but it relies on having to take some sort of microbe out of a sick uh, individual, grow it in pure culture, an axonic culture, inoculate it into a new host to see if it causes the same disease. Um, and a lot more information in that video on Cook's postulates. So basically what it looks like is you've got some kind of mixed culture. Maybe it's on a petri dish where you can see the individual colonies. Maybe it's in a mixed culture where you just kind of see the cloudy broth and you can't distinguish the different isolates that are in there. But the goal is to get an axonic or pure culture where there's only one species growing on a plate. If you're starting with a plate, it's easy enough to just like select uh, one colony and transfer it over in a quadrant streak. Check out that video if you want to know how that works. If you have a mixed culture, you really have to get it onto a plate where you can see all the different types of colonies that are present, um, each type of colony uh, being for different isolates, right, different species. Uh, and then once you've got it on a plate, again, it's easy enough to just kind of grab a colony and make the pure culture, the axonic culture, where all the colonies on this plate are descended from like the same, that should be singular, from the same ancestor. So like one colony was taken, that colony itself is made up of bacteria that all descended from one colony forming unit, and now you've got your axonic or pure culture. That's it for today. Check out my other videos, grab the uh, free study notes, the link below, and good luck with your studies. See you next time.